Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, Linux Mint Debian Edition 4, codenamed Debbie, has been released. Let's have a quick look at the release notes. Then we're going to look at the distribution and talk about why you might want to use this distribution. Now, I'm actually going to give this a uh, test on some real hardware uh, for a specific application. I have a sneaky suspicion it will work better than my other solutions, but uh, I'm not going to talk about that until I actually test it. So as far as the new features and functions, uh, basically some general improvements. Um, disk encryption, better supported, home directory encryption supported, NVIDIA driver encryption supported. We also finally get secure boot support, which is going to be significant for some people. If you're only running one operating system on your computer, secure boot system is, uh, is very good. Some improvements on VirtualBox and... Um, they also have some of the uh, basic Linux Mint 19.3 improvements, uh, boot repair systems, some system repairs, high DPI support, a lot of things some people have been asking for, uh, apt recommended by uh, enabled by default. And as far as other items, uh, it's going to be very, uh, very good, very consistent with a lot of the other products we see out of Linux Mint. We have 64-bit um, ISO, can boot with BIOS or EFI. We have a 32-bit, can only boot with BIOS. 64-bit is recommended, of course. But hey, it's great to see a brand new distribution still shipping with 32-bit support. So uh, that is actually all really good, really fascinating news. Let's jump on over and have a quick look at the, uh, the, the build itself. So here we are going to be booting into the system, and uh, we'll be back when we're booted up. Okay, so we have just landed on our desktop. We land on the desktop full screen, which is very nice. Uh, in traditional Mint fashion, we are greeted with a welcome screen. You can see we are Linux Mint Debian Edition 4, Cinnamon 64-bit edition. We can show or hide this at startup. We don't need to see it again afterwards. Uh, our first steps, this is going to be pretty much identical. In fact, one of the cool distinctive features about Linux Mint Debian Edition 4 is if if you were to throw even me who uses this on a regular basis in front of this, I would have a hard time determining if I'm actually on the Debian edition or on the Linux Mint edition. Uh, really, I'm going to be able to, the first thing I would do if I were trying to figure that out is I looked if there is a driver install utility. Ooh, there's not. That means I must be on the Debian edition because that's an Ubuntu tool. But here on our welcome screen, we can start with setting up system snapshots. So this makes a backup of the functional system minus your files. We can launch our multimedia codec right here. So we don't have to go through and, uh, uh, and do that somewhere else. Uh, if I remember correctly, I believe that this actually failed on the beta, if I'm remembering correctly. But uh, we'll see how this goes. It looks like everything is working just fine. We have the update manager. We'll have a look at the update manager in just a second. We can choose between our more traditional older layout or our new modern layout. There we are. Our multimedia codecs are done. So uh, as I've said in many videos before, I do like the, the sort of look to this, but I like the old functionality um, of the old one. So I actually, rather than switching to the traditional view on Cinnamon 4, is I actually keep this view, but then just modify this to behave exactly the way I want it to behave. I have a whole video about that. Uh, we have our system settings, our software manager, our firewall configurations, and everything else in there, if you are familiar with Linux Mint, is going to be pretty much the same. As far as our, uh, our updater, here is the update manager we have. So we can come over here. We can switch over to local mirrors or not. Um, hey, it's based on Debian. Of course there's no updates. Come on. One of the things that we find here is we don't have inside of here the kernel manager. Uh, like we did on Linux Mint. I believe we can still change the kernels. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but that's probably okay. Changing kernels is something we generally do not want to do um, once, as long as the system is working for us. So that's okay by me. We are running 419, a little bit older kernel, but definitely a stable one. Definitely the type of thing we get out of Debian. Of course, the new uh, Cinnamon will have with it this new uh, uh, system report system. First is saying, hey, there's detect system issues, install language packs. Eh, we're going to ignore this problem. Um, I don't really need that. Then we have our system information and crash reports. Um, so 
Oh, I don't need any of that. All right, so uh, as far as the software and applications, we're going to be very similar to Linux Mint. This is one of the advantages. Why might we want to use uh, this over basic Debian? Well, we get Debian with a more up-to-date cinnamon. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and have a look at the system information here. Uh, so we are running, we should be running cinnamon 4.4, okay, 4.48. For comparison, if I remember correctly, Debian is right now running 3.8, a much older version of Cinnamon. So this will get you Debian with a brand stinking new version of Cinnamon that will update incrementally uh, because the Cinnamon is updated through the Linux Mint repositories rather than the standard Debian repositories. All right, uh, but most of the other things are going to be, uh, you know, we'll also have our, our Linux Mint tools. We have USB image stick formatters and writers, very useful for me in a lot of the things that I'm doing. Uh, we have our Redshift there, graphics, we have our drawing, pick, simple scan, Firefox transmission, Thunderbird, hex chat. We have the full LibreOffice suite embedded. Uh, celluloid, rhythm box, and then basic administration. If we go into our system settings here, we will notice, uh, like we said earlier, a fewer administration, particularly in the uh, in the, the driver utilities and a few other tools are missing because those are actually from the Ubuntu repositories, not Debian. But for a person that uh, that does know what they're doing, you can still install those things. It's just going to be you know, going through the, the different instructions on Debian versus Ubuntu. Not as user-friendly, but also not ultimately terrible either. We do have our software sources over here still. Uh, we can go ahead and have a look at what we have here. So if I wanted to go back to the, the base, we can uh, change those mirrors. We're not going to do that right this second. So I want to see if there's anything else in here. Uh, one of the things that uh, we will find uh, another reason why you might want to run this is Linux Mint Debian Edition enables the non-free repositories by default. Now, that might be bad for you. That might be good for you. Ultimately, it's going to mean your system is going to install with much better hardware support, although it, some people may have an issue because that may not follow all of the pure FOSS philosophy like Debian it traditionally does. Obviously, another major advantage is if you've ever installed Debian with Cinnamon, you know it does not have very good theming out of the box. You'd need to go over, add new theming to it. This, we do have all of the basic Linux Mint theming. So whatever type of style and design you are going for, whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, whatever styling and design you would like to do, you can actually go ahead and do that right out of the box with this. So you are gonna have better theming support on this system, which is probably minor in the scope of everything else, but hey, for whatever that happens to be worth. So ultimately, this is going to be just an incremental update with uh, Debian, which usually means a lot of things have changed. Um, but we also have things like the um, software manager here, rather than just being stuck just with Synaptic, not that we don't have Synaptic Package Manager, but we do have the very nice software manager from uh, from Linux Mint, which will include your Flatpak support uh, built right into here, so you can search directly flat, flat packs or other things like that. So ultimately, uh, with this, we'd already mentioned most of the things. Obviously, based on Debian 10, we've already mentioned it does have um, it does have the the apt recommended uh, recommended tools uh, fulfilling all those dependencies like usual. Uh, NVIDIA driver support is going to be increased. Also, that secure boot is a huge thing. Let's see if there's other reasons. Let's see. Linux Mint Polish and Tools, Updated Cinnamon, and Non-Free Repositories. So I've covered all of those uh, all of those items so far. So there is a very brief walkthrough of Linux Mint Debian Edition 4. Overall, if you are looking for a single operating system, you're not multi-booting, dual-booting, all these different things, this is a very good option. It comes with Debian, rock solid stability. The You're not gonna need to run updates all the time. You are gonna get anything security related. You are going to get immediately 
but we're not going to have to worry about rolling and changing features. You are going to have Cinnamon that's always up to date. This is definitely a much more polished version than just installing Debian with Cinnamon on top of it, and things are going to install better for you because of the non-free repositories built in right out of the box. So ultimately for me, I'm excited to play with this a little bit more. Like I said, I want to run a little project with this, see how it runs for me, see if this will solve a little issue I've been having with another system I was trying to work on. And uh, those are my thoughts. I'm very excited to poke around at this and it just looks like as Linux Mint Debian Edition are moving along, they're getting closer and closer and closer to that, uh, this traditional Linux Mint based on Ubuntu, which is probably a pretty good time, all things considered. So let me know what you think about this, uh, this edition in the comments down below.